but it really really leaves an impact and you really think about it and i was in tears and i was smiling and i was entertained and i was scared and i was thrill thrilled and i was you know all the things put together uh, but supporting a story like this i think for us as an audience is really important but i think i really want to thank rishi for bringing us this story and for putting us putting putting this together just the way you caught on to that one moment when it was sent to you while you were doing something else for google and this came to you and and you said okay no this is something that i'm going to come back and i'm going to tell this story i think um, there's a lot of genuineness in it there's a lot of heart in it and that really comes across when you see the show i mean firstly i was flabbergasted that it was all based on true events um and then we kept talking you know he was gracious enough to share uh, the first two episodes um i then watched the whole show but i have to say forget executive producer i just responded as a person yeah yeah when i saw the show a i couldn't stop watching it like it was it's a binge and how um you don't you can't take your eyes off the screen you can't take your you know take yourself away from these characters um Nimisha is not here today but I mean she's outstanding Roshan who I've had the honor of working with is unbelievable and Dibyandu sir and 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 not just the three of them the whole cast they really really hold you know they hold your attention to the screen and of course Richie has told this story so beautifully um it just really moved me it moved me emotionally it moved me physically towards him saying <laughs> tell me what i can do and how can i help um and that eternal um eternal being me and my partner/sister shine bhat and our business head grishma we are a tiny team of 3 but we really believe that we would like to be a part of stories that move you and impact you and stir some sort of conversation long after you've seen what you've seen so whether it's a conversation with yourself whether it's a conversation with another person so this was a, a long journey uh, for me i was working on a documentary in 2015 called india in a day it was a google project and um it was a crowdsourced project so people all over india on one day would send me footage and i would use that to create a documentary that shoot day was october 10th 2015 and on the same day i received footage of an ivory raid in delhi um and it came from the wildlife trust of india and it was basically officers breaking down a door and finding all this ivory in a flat and i was shocked i couldn't believe what i was seeing I contacted the wildlife trust i said what is this and they said oh we did the biggest ivory raid in the history of india on your shoot day so we thought we would send you the footage and i said i cannot use this footage however give me a few years i have one more project to do and then i will do an entire project on this so After that I started to research get to know them got got to know their their wildlife crime fighters mm. and I didn't think that job title existed and I was so enamored by these people and their altruism the result of that is this series this is a fictionalized dramatization of true events um it's inspired by the biggest elephant poaching case in Indian history many characters are amalgamations and some of them are direct um I will say generally I I will do character extrapolations in backgrounds of characters personal stories um which are based on educated guesses and I try not to veer away from the criminal aspect because I cannot there's a lot of strange things in poetry you'll see as my gut this was one of the easiest yeses that I uh I have said it checked all the boxes except the scenario wasn't that straight forward for me because this wasn't a pro project that was offered to me for me to pick whether I wanted to say yes or no to this was a project that I was approached to audition for so the moment when I was so to quickly go through uh, how it happened the moment I was approached for the audition I was instantly excited because of Richie that's all I knew at that point that Richie Mehta is doing a show and I've been offered an audition a chance to audition for it and I knew him as a maker and I was supremely excited by his work and I really really wanted to collaborate so the audition happened luckily I got the part then I get the script to read right and 
he's one of the best writers whose works I've read, who I've gotten to uh, collaborate with. It was such an exciting script. It's so strange because it's all based on true events and you can't write fiction that way. Richie said this multiple times. It doesn't follow a formula. It doesn't have a set structure that we're familiar with. These guys have nothing to go with in their investigation, nothing to assist them, no systems in place, no guns to pull out. It's all Jugaad. So it seemed like such a fun script to play. Uh, yeah, Nimisha has been such a fabulous performer in Malayalam since the first film that she did there and it's been she's been an actor who I'd been waiting to work with Uritek and Talikes the project you mentioned was the first time I got to work with her which also happens to be the set um, on which I received the script for Poacher and read it and I found out that Nimisha was also going to be part of the show and uh, this was a period where Nimisha and I did three projects together in a row and it was the most magical journey that I've had with any co-actor first uh, she's also an incredibly exciting co-actor to work with because Ali and I were discussing this earlier she's unpredictable so you can't go in with a set plan on how you want to play a scene out because Nimisha will break that for you so you have to be there be very much in the moment and react to what's happening or what she's throwing at you and she's great to you know play tennis with uh, <laughs> while we're doing a scene, acting tennis. The last time I was on a stage that was this big, in front of a crowd that was this big, um, was for a project that gave birth to Eternal Sunshine Productions. And that was a song launch. And at that point, Alia was my co-actor. And uh, it was also one of, I think, the most memorable, uh, biggest um, uh, projects in my career so far, something I was very fortunate to be part of. And through that journey, uh, I've, uh, I mean, I always knew Alia as an artist through the work that she's done, and I have a great deal of respect for her and the work that she chooses to do and how she does it. Uh, but also as a person, from the little that I know of her, she's somebody who's very driven by passion, driven by emotion. You must have noticed how earlier when she got a question about her vision with the project, uh, her answer was very rooted in emotion. So for somebody who works with that focus, somebody who's driven by what the heart wants, um, I'm very, very glad that Alia is associated with this uh, project and how graciously she's been sort of tilting the spotlight towards the show and the rest of us.